afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm from Caravan SA. I'm sitting here today with Tim Bowers from Motorhome World, and we're going to be discussing the their brand new Discovery Extreme that took the highlight at the Caravan Show that took place at Gallagher Convention Center. This is a Discovery Extreme, and it's a lot different than your Discoverer Four. Yeah. Okay. The Discoverer Four is an on-road version, similar configuration to this, or not? Okay. So Discoverer Four is a production model. That means it's got a specific layout and uh, what you, you, you can customize it in terms of add-ons and accessories. You can have color, different color schemes of your cushions and your, and your cupboard doors and sort of thing, but the basic layout remains the same. The Discovered Extreme that we're sitting in now is fully customizable. So you can have it any layout that you want. All right. And any color scheme. Uh, so no extreme is alike, no two. Okay, mm. and uh, so your Discoverer 4, I think, was originally built by yourself and Dennis, uh, which is from your production shop in Cape Town, Atlantis. Correct. Uh, but you do have a showroom here in Gauteng? Yeah, we have got a showroom in Benoni. Benoni, yep. all right. Uh, so this was the highlight of the Caravan Show. I believe there was a lot of interest in this model yeah. specifically. And one of the features I believe that makes this highly desirable is the fact that you can customize it yourself and the internal layout. Correct. I think you guys, uh, how many years do you have behind you in experience of motorhome or off-road camper building? Well, in motorhome building, we have over 20 years experience. Um, the 4x4 chassis, as we're sitting in now, the Avico 4x4 daily chassis, it's only been introduced around 12 years ago, 10, 10 12 years ago. And we were probably the first ones using this chassis. Um, you get them in two different sizes. You get them in a short and a long wheel base. And we categorize them into the short wheel bases driving over the mountain. That's the short wheel base models. And then the long wheel base models as we as we're sitting in now is driving around the around the mountain. Yeah. Doesn't mean it hasn't any got any capabilities, it's got massive capabilities. Yeah, well obviously the shorter wheel base can obviously you can go further over landing over harsher rocks because it's got that shorter wheel Correct. base. The longer wheel base is a bit harder on the gullies and the troughs and the uh, the river beds. Look the longer your wheel base the the more constrained you are in terms of little hills and little obstacles that are coming in in your way. But this is still highly capable. You can go around the world in this. Easy. Yeah, it, it, yeah if it was paved. <laughs> well not paved if there was no sea. Yeah, but there's, uh, there's boats. <laughs> there. Tem a temporary standing still until land is reached. <laughs> yes. And tell me something. Um, ordinarily, the customers that buy your Discovery Extreme, they are not doing the local adventures. They're more doing uh, Botswana, Zimbabwe, uh, Zimbabwe. They're going into central Kalahari. Um, these units, you can get uh, off-grid system, completely off-grid. So your air conditioner can work internally. And I think your air conditions range in, I think, a 9,000 or 12,000 BTU. And um, you can also plug them in to run off 220 volts as well. Um, mm -hmm. For those people that do manage to find the, the stopovers that uh, aren't as wild or untamed <laughs> as the other climates in, in Africa. Um, yeah. Tell me something. The customers, do you know if they prefer an inside kitchen or an outside kitchen? What is more desirable? I think... Outside kitchens are very desirable. Um, in this case, there's two. There's one inside and one outside. Um, pe but people can choose. Um, it's fully it's fully customizable. If you don't want a kitchen inside, you don't have a kitchen inside. <laughs> you can obviously it's, use it's, that space for other things. Yeah, obviously, uh, when, when you come out a full kitchen outside, you're a little bit limited as to where you can put the kitchen. Um, but yeah, it, it can be done. Whatever you want can be done. They just have to get in touch with you. To see yeah normally people come and visit our, our factory in atlantis um, we spend at least a day day and a half with a customer it's not just going to a dealership buying a vehicle if, if you buy something like this we will have conversations we'll have we'll have we'll get a feel of your idea we get a feel of what your purpose is for the vehicle we get a feel of exactly how how far you want to venture into the off-road world uh, in terms of, of, of destinations an application an application and from there we will give suggestions, we will give ideas, the customer will do in turn the same thing, we'll also give their ideas and their, and their wishes, we incorporate everything, 
and we start building from there. So, uh, in my opinion, you know, choosing a motorhome, that in, it, in itself is a six month process. You want to know where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to pack inside, um, how you want to kit it out. Do you want a winch? Are you going into, you know, uh, the Caprivi Strip, the Khalakhadi, Toshapan? Um, so, if that in itself is a six month process to, to decide that you want to get one of these off road motorhomes, um, how long is the production from your concept of designing the motorhome to actually building? Is it roughly about six months, eight months? I mean, you guys are pretty busy. These are very popular bands. And I think uh, at the moment, it's roughly about an eight-month wait, uh, waiting period. But it depends on what the customer wants, like you said. If they want something you know, simple and easy, you can do that. It's going to be a lot less. But I think, what is the average waiting time for a customer that, that wants his motorhome? Yeah, I think you've said it. It's it's depending on 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 the rent on our own schedule, depending on of, of, on availability of chassis, um, six to eight months. Yeah, I think that's realistic. All right. Um, we have we have often people ordering a motorhome in a year and then taking possession of it the year uh, the next year. Um, yeah, it all depends on our schedule as well. Motorhome also builds uh, for Bobo Campus, the rental fleet which has large orders, um, especially after Very the, popular. Especially after the, 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 the restrictions that were applied worldwide as to rebuild their fleet. Um, we also export to Australia. They order a lot of bodies. It's bodies only that go into containers. But in between, for sure, we will never forget our locals. And uh, our locals are still, you know, the ones that we really want to work with. And yeah, if you, if you're patient, six to eight months, but it's worth the wait. But good things take time. There we go. And you guys are, are very well known. You've been in the industry a very long time. Yeah. Um, these itself, uh, this Discover Extreme, you don't make for your rental fleet. No. Uh, these are made to order only. Yeah. And I think uh, if memory serves, you make between 30 and 35 of these roughly a mm. year on order. Yep. Uh, very happy customers. You've got yep. a lot of likes on your Facebook page. You've also just launched uh, your own online store, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. That's that's doing very well. Yep. Um, are you able to deliver parts and accessories to most of the corners of Africa, or is it beyond the borders as well? It's not. It's well for sure Namibia, um, if you, Botswana. I would say the SADC regions. But if somebody from Nigeria or somebody from Morocco wants something, sure, we can. It's it's a career. The online shop works simple. We offer around 500 products. Depending on where you are, we send it to you. There's always a DHL or a FedEx. Ever available. And they can go anywhere. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, Tim, yeah, thank you very much for your time. Cool. It's uh, been, thanks for hanging out with us today. Yep. And we are going to put a full review on our website for people to log on, look, read. They can get in touch with Tim directly yep. if they want to get in touch with their rental fleet uh, to see if the Discover 4s, um, which are quite popular. I think you have different configurations of those, but those are the on-road versions. Um, the Discovery Extreme is one of the focuses for us today. Uh, highly desirable, good, reputable brand. And like you said, you've been in the industry for 20 plus years. Yep. Uh, you're an industry titan. Uh, thank you very much for spending the time with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.